Hello students. Today we will discuss first six exercise problem of chapter two, electrostatic potential and capacitance. In first one, we have two charges five into ten raised to minus eight coulomb and minus three into ten raised to minus eight coulomb, uh, located sixteen uh, centimeter apart, and uh, we are asked to find out point. on the line joining these two charges uh, where electrostatic potential will be zero and we are uh, asked to consider potential to be zero at infinity so let us first collect data and then understand situation then uh, we will try to find out the answer so let us label 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb as uh, qa And minus three into ten raised to minus eight coulomb as Q B, and uh, let R be the distance between the two, which is sixteen centimeters, zero point one six meter here, and uh, we'll uh, regard R zero as the distance at which potential is zero. So these are the charges Q A and Q B, and how much is the distance between them? Sixteen uh, centimeters. So we assume. Some point O uh, between A and B, uh, where potential is zero, because see, uh, potential of Q A is uh, K Q by distance, and Q A being positive, potential of this charge will be positive at O point, and potential of B will be Q uh, K Q B by distance, and the charge to be negative, potential will also be negative. So when we add potential of A and B at point O, uh, one potential is positive other one is negative so there are chances that uh, answer will be uh, answer may be zero so we assume that o point is at r distance from uh, charge b and uh, so obviously the distance between a and o is 0.16 minus r so we can say that at o point the potential is va plus vb And uh, how much is the potential due to a K Q by distance? So K Q upon 0.6 minus R, and potential at O point due to B is K Q B by R, isn't it? Now we want potential at this point to be zero. So take this uh, left side to be zero, and then you have only one unknown R. So you can find out R with this formula. Take V of O to be zero and find out R. That will be the distance. From Q B, at which potential is zero. Okay, so be careful. We are measuring R from B charge. Okay, so mention in your answer that thus the distance of uh, the point where potential is zero is so and so meter from charge B. Now, the way at this point, potential due to A and potential due to B both are opposite. There is one more possibility. Uh, That at O prime, see what is the potential at O prime due to this charge? It will be negative because the charge is negative, so potential here will be negative. And uh, due to A, potential at O prime will be positive. So at O prime also there are chances that uh, potential due to A and potential due to B both are equal and opposite, and then the resultant will be zero, isn't it? So let us assume that the distance of uh, O prime from Q B is R prime. Then how much is the potential due to A at O prime? K Q A upon 0.16 plus R prime, isn't it? And uh, potential at O prime due to Q B will be K Q B upon R prime. And uh, if the potential at O prime is zero, then this part left side will be zero. And again, you will be left with one unknown R prime in this equation. Make it subject of formula, and you will have one more point where potential due to these two charges will be zero. So you will have two answers, uh, R and R prime. Both distances are measured with respect to B. Okay, so be careful about that part. Now, uh, can we or should we consider some point on left side of A? Because uh, on left side of A, in this region also. Potential due to A will be positive. Potential due to B will be negative. So there are chances. Is there any chance? I'm not saying. Sorry, I'm not saying there are chances. Uh, let it be open question. Is there any chance that on left side of A, these two potentials will negate each other? 
so uh, ponder over it and find out if you, uh, we can have any point on left side of a where potential uh, would be zero for now let us move to next in second problem we have a regular hexagon of side 10 centimeter which has charge of 5 microcoulomb at each of its vertices and we are asked to calculate potential at center of the hexagon very simple problem see reg regular hexagon we have so each side is of same length and how much is the length 10 centimeter okay and uh, on each corner each vertices we have charges placed so how many charges we have six charges we have each of 5 microcoulomb now each side is of 10 centimeter length and at center we want potential okay at this point we want potential so if i want potential at center due to this charge what is the formula kq upon distance isn't it potential due to second charge kq upon distance potential due to third charge kq upon distance now luckily uh, all the charges are same and all the distances are same so if we can find out distance and if you can find out potential due to one charge you just have to multiply it with six because potential is scalar quantity okay so we don't need to consider um, uh, direction here had it been electric field uh, we we would have tried to find out uh, direction and uh, we would have gone for vector sum but uh, we are talking about potential scalar quantity so if i can find out potential due to one charge at center i just have to uh, multiply it with six now what is the problem here if this is 5 microcoulomb and if i want potential due to 5 microcoulomb at center the formula is kq upon distance and how much is the distance side length is 10 centimeter but how much is the distance of center from this vertex any of the corners so in case of hexagon we know that uh, this angle is 120 degree all these ang angles are 120 degree in case of regular hexagon so if we consider a uh, bisector then upper angle will be 60 degree and lower one will also be 60 degree okay and so if i draw a line so suppose if i draw a line uh, joining the charge with center how much will be the angle this angle will be 60 degree this angle will be 60 degree and obviously this one will be 60 degree what does it mean <clears throat> that this will be uh, uh, triangle with all sides same isn't it so now i got distance also it should be 10 centimeter and now i can find out potential due to the charge at center kq upon 10 centimeter isn't it and uh, how much is the q 5 microcoulomb so first we can find out potential at center due to uh, single charge okay how much is q here 5 microcoulomb how much is the distance 10 centimeter convert it into meter and then uh, multiply it with 6 because we want total potential potential due to 6 charges <coughs> in next one we have two charges 2 microcoulomb and minus 2 microcoulomb placed at points a and b which are 6 centimeter apart uh, we are asked to identify an equipotential surface due to system of these two charges and we are also asked to find out the direction of electric field at all the points on equipotential surface very interesting problem easy but uh, interesting so here are the two charges a and b uh, what is a, a is uh, 2 microcoulomb and uh, how much is the b b is minus 2 microcoulomb and uh, let us consider midpoint so how far o is from a 3 centimeter and b is also at 3 centimeter because it is uh, midpoint okay so how much is the potential at o point due to a obviously a is 2 microcoulomb so kq by 3 centimeter k into 2 microcoulomb by 3 centimeter and potential due to b at o is also same but negative because charge on b is minus 2 microcoulomb 
So what is the resultant potential at O? Now if you sum up potential due to A and potential due to B both are equal and opposite so resultant potential will be zero. So I am talking about a point where potential is zero. Okay. Uh, consider one more point. Say O prime. How far is O prime? O prime is at R distance from A and it, it is at R distance from B. So how much is the potential at O prime? So at O prime also if you look at the potential due to A and potential due to B both are equal and opposite. So resultant potential at O prime will be zero. Potential at O is zero. Potential at O prime is also zero. Consider one more point say O double prime which is again at same distance from A and B. So again at O prime if you find out potential how much will it be? C. Positive potential negative potential but of same value so VA plus VB if you take potential at O prime will be zero. It means that these three points are uh, at same potential and not this three. If you consider similar O prime and O double prime on upper side you will see that at all these points you have equal potential zero potential and how do we define equipotential surface? Equipotential surface is a surface where potential is equal at all the points. So if I if I can imagine a surface passing through all these points it is equipotential surface isn't it? So here is the equipotential surface we are looking for. Okay it is passing through the perpendicular bisector of line joining A and B. Now uh, let us address second question. What is the direction of electric field at every point on this surface? How do we know? So let us start with O point. At O point in which direction A is producing electric field? So A is positive charge right? So electric field lines go away from A. So this is how electric field line of A uh, will be observed at O point and B is negative charge. So field lines go towards B. So electric field at this point due to B is like this. So what is the resultant electric field at O point? We just have to add the two and the resultant electric field will be from A to B. Okay. Uh, let us talk about O prime. Now see uh, A is positive charge and so electric field lines will be going radially outward. So this is how. Away from A we will have electric field uh, at O prime and B is negative charge so field line will be towards B. Okay so this is the direction of electric field at O prime due to B and then what is the resultant electric field? Uh, resultant of this two vector will be somewhere here horizontal. Okay so this is this is the resultant electric field at O prime and similarly we will have electric field at O double prime also going uh, towards uh, from A to B in uh, right direction and that is true at O prime and O double prime uh, downward also. Okay so what is the uh, direction of electric field at any point on this equipotential surface electric field will always be perpendicular to the surface wherever you check. This is true for all the points on equipotential surface. Now in fourth one we have a spherical conductor of radius 12 centimeter and it has charge on it uh, which is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb. Uh, it is distributed uniformly on the surface of spherical conductor and uh, we are asked to find out electric field where we are asked to find out electric field at some point inside the sphere just outside the sphere and at some point which is at 18 centimeter from the center of the sphere. So let us find out. So we have a sphere uh, with 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb charge uniformly distributed on it. Radius of the sphere is 12 centimeter which is 0.12 meter and then we are asked to find out electric field at some point inside means at distance less than 12 centimeter. Uh, then uh, just outside the sphere so we will find out at 12 centimeter and at just outside it should be slightly less because as you go away electric field decreases. 
and then uh, electric field at RC point which is at 18 centimeter distance so uh, this is what we are asked to find out so here is the sphere and uh, let the radius be R okay so first what is the electric field inside the shell now we know that when charge is distributed on the surface only uh, there is no electric field due to shell inside inside wherever you go electric field is zero okay so what is the answer of first one a inside this sphere electric field is zero okay so wherever is this point electric field is zero it may be at two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter if the distance is less than 12 centimeter from the center then the answer is zero electric field is zero consider second point just outside the surface just outside the surface so let us find out electric field at uh, rb distance we will consider the distance to be 12 centimeter uh, and uh, find out electric field and just outside the surface electric field will be more or less the same actually slightly less but uh, just outside the surface you can consider the electric field to be kq by 12 centimeter square okay convert it into meter and what is the q q is this 1.6 into 10 to minus 7 coulomb because uh, when you are outside the shell the shell behaves like point charge as if this 1.6 into 10 to minus 7 coulomb is at center as point charge okay so for any point outside the shell uh, the shell will behave like point charge which is of value 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and that is true for 18 centimeter also so uh, if this is the 18 centimeter distance how do you find out electric field there kq by r square okay so be careful about the units and uh, with this you will have your answer In fifth one, we have uh, a parallel plate capacitor with air between the plates and it is capacitance of 8 picofarad. 1 picofarad is 10 raised to minus 12 farad. So picofarad is very small unit of capacitance. And uh, we are told that uh, if the distance between if the distance between the plates is reduced to half, and uh, if uh, space between the plates is filled with some other medium with dielectric constant 6 what will happen to the capacitance 8 pi cofarad the value of capacitance will increase or decrease a uh, very interesting problem so what we are given we are told that uh, parallel plate capacitor has capacitance of 8 pi cofarad and as it is parallel plate capacitor we can consider c to be epsilon 0 a by d uh, because initially there is no medium between the two plates so we can consider epsilon 0 permittivity of vacuum okay we don't know how much is the area let it be a and let the distance between the plates to be d now we are told that the distance between the plates is reduced by half so if the new distance is d prime uh, d prime is equal to d by 2 it is half of previous one okay and uh, then we are filling up the gap between the two plates with some medium whose dielectric constant is 6 and then how much is the new capacitance that is what we are asked to find out let us try so we know that c is equal to epsilon 0 a by d this is the initial capacitance though i don't know what is a i don't know what is d uh, but i know this is the expression and uh, if uh, new capacitance is c prime i should be able to write c prime as epsilon a prime by d prime why epsilon because i know that medium is not vacuum anymore uh, d prime because the distance between the plates is also changed and actually i don't need to take a prime because plates are not changed so area is a only uh, apart from that we also know that dielectric constant is uh, epsilon by epsilon zero so i don't know what is the epsilon what is the permittivity of new medium but i know what is the dielectric constant of the new medium so epsilon we can find out from this epsilon is k epsilon zero so instead of epsilon what we will take k epsilon zero instead of a prime what we what we can take a and d prime is d by two so new capacitance becomes k epsilon zero a upon d by two okay and uh, now if we simplify this this 2 will go up so what you will have 
टू के एप्सलॉन जीरो ए बाई डी एंड वी नो वॉट इज एप्सलॉन जीरो ए बाई डी एप्सलॉन जीरो ए बाई डी इज एट पाइकोफेरेट के इज गिवन ओके सो टू के इन टू एट पाइकोफेरेट इज द न्यू कैपेसिटेंस now this particular problem uh, has so many possible variations okay uh, dielectric constant may be changed instead of making uh, distance half uh, it may be doubled okay so there are possible variations so think about uh, other possible variations and possible values and uh, try to produce at least two or three variations of this problem uh, in uh, sixth one we have three capacitors each of capacitors 9 picofarad and they are connected in series we are asked to find out uh, the total capacitance actually effective capacitance of this combination and uh, what is the potential difference across each capacitor if the combination is connected with a battery of 120 volt easy one Uh, here are the three capacitors and here is the battery uh, with voltage 120 uh, volt and uh, how the three are connected they are connected like this series uh, combination is the combination where uh, only first and last plate are connected with battery and they are connected in such a way that charges are same okay so if you look at the charges charges are same on all the plates all the capacitors okay so first uh, condition about series uh, combination of capacitor is that q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q3 is equal to q all the capacitor should have same charge and uh, then what happens to the potential potential is distributed for the three and for series combination how do we express uh, effective capacitance so we know that uh, effective capacitance c for series combination can be given as 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so do we have c1 c2 c3 yes it is 9 9 9 so we should be able to find out effective capacitance uh, with this formula and uh, then what about the potential so uh, vb is v1 plus v2 plus v3 and as the three capacitances are equal so this uh, this will this will be v v v 3v so vb is equal to 3v and uh, that is how you can find out potential on each capacitance okay so substitute values and uh, get your answer uh, so that is all for now thank you